Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Conklin, your weather anchor for tonight. Currently, we have the live cam up here at CSU, and it's pretty dark right now, but earlier it was a lot brighter because the days are getting longer, and in no time, our evenings will still be lit up because of that summer weather coming in just a few months. The current temperature right now is about 51 degrees. We shouldn't see any winds pick up. However, there is a slight chance of three mile an hour winds coming around midnight or so, but the evening is expected to be very clear. The lows across the state tonight on the western slope. We have a lowest temperature, 14 in Gunnison and 24 in Vail. Everywhere else is going to hover around the mid-20s to the mid-30s. Pretty nice night tonight, pretty clear. On the eastern plains, we have a 29 in Lamar, 24 in Lyman, and a 32 in Burlington, one of our warmer temperatures on the eastern slope, excuse me, eastern plains. On the I-25 corridor, we have a 31 in Pueblo, 31 in Colorado Springs, a nice 37 in Denver, cooling off to a 34 in Fort Collins. We're above freezing, so I can't complain. Tomorrow is going to be beautiful, just like it was today. It's going to be nice and clear. On the western slope, we'll have a 46 in Gunnison, 53 in Vail, and a nice 68 in Grand Junction. On the eastern plains, we'll have a 68 in Lyman and Burlington, and a 71 in Lamar. On the I-25 corridor, Pueblo will be a nice 72, 67 in Colorado Springs, a 70 in Denver, and a cool 67 in Fort Collins. But the good news is it's going to be nice and clear and sunny tomorrow. Around 8 a.m., it'll be 46 degrees, cool and clear. Like I said, keep that jacket on you. Around noon, it's going to warm up to about 67 degrees. And as the day goes on, it's going to be about 70 degrees with light breezes, but it's still going to be pretty nice and warm. Heading out the door tomorrow, I would keep those sunglasses on you because it's going to be sunny all day. There is no cloud coverage expected in the forecast. And keep that light jacket on because it will be cool in the morning. Shed it around 10 or 11 or so when it warms up to that 60 degree weather. And definitely keep that smile on your face because we are on our last Friday before spring break. Looking at our seven day planner, we'll have a high of 72 tomorrow. Really nice. We're going to cool off over the weekend, 70, 69 on Sunday. We're going to cool off even more Monday, 65 and a 53 on Tuesday. We're getting even cooler Wednesday, 48 and Thursday. We'll have 43 degrees. Pretty cool. And Thursday happens to be St. Patrick's Day. If you're sticking around Fort Collins, we're going to have the annual Lucky Joe's Thanksgiving Day Parade taking place this Saturday at 8 a.m. So be sure to get out there and enjoy it. If the kids, the weather will be nice. However, on the actual day of St. Patty's, the high is expected to be about 47 degrees with a low of 23 and mostly cloudy. So bundle up if you're planning on going out that night. For spring breakers deciding to go out of town, vacationing, visiting families, take lots of photos and tweet them when you get back at, to me at Nicole Conklin 6 on uh, Twitter. And be sure to use the hashtag CSU Spring Break 2016 for a chance to have your photos featured on CTV. I hope everyone has a very safe spring break, and I can't wait to see you guys when we get back. Stay tuned. Rachel has the update in the world of Ram Sports.